Hello YouTube. So I figured I'd try these Q&A videos again. This week's question comes from Reddit. It's space-time can be stretched and bent, but can it vibrate? And if so, does it have a resonance frequency? The answer to the first part of that is definitely yes. Space-time can vibrate, and we call these vibrations gravitational waves. They're caused whenever a massive object accelerates. So for example, two neutron stars orbiting around each other will slowly lose energy due to gravitational waves. Um, we've never directly observed the waves here on Earth, but we have been able to observe that exact process, so two pulsars, neutron stars, falling into each other slowly. And over decades, the curve at which they fall in is matched exactly. It's a massively impressive prediction of general relativity. Uh, also, quite recently, they found the signature of gravitational waves, or quite more, most likely the signature of gravitational waves, on the cosmic microwave background. So the, the heat that's left over from the Big Bang, we can actually see a signature of gravitational waves on that, which is really cool. There's a lot of indirect evidence, but direct evidence so far, no such luck. The experiments looking for it are things like LIGO, which shoots lasers down two tunnels and then bounce them back and forth to try and see if those distances change by a fraction of the radius of a proton. Uh, but so far, no luck. Every year, you see the results come out and they push the lower bounds farther and farther, so hopefully they'll see something soon. So the second question is a little trickier to answer. I mean, the question is, can space-time resonate? Can the universe itself resonate? And the short, simple answer is no. So you see, waves, like the sound waves or electromagnetic waves, they need something to bounce off to be able to form a resonance. Now, that's an oversimplification. There's different cases, different types of boundary conditions. Don't worry about it. For example, in a woodwind, when sound travels down the instrument and then the wave bounces back and it creates a standing wave in the instrument. With electromagnetic radiation, like in your microwave, when you're trying to cook s'mores or something, it goes in a microwave, it doesn't matter. When you're cooking in a microwave, a standing electromagnetic wave is created, and that system is at resonance. That allows the amplitude of that wave to grow, and that lets you heat up your food. So you might have noticed the universe doesn't seem to have an edge to bounce off of. So if we were to shake a couple of black holes to get our gravity waves going, they would just go off to infinity. They wouldn't bounce back. They'd never return to us. So there's not really an opportunity to create a standing wave. Therefore, you can't really create a resonance. So, which is unfortunate. That'd be kind of cool. The one case I can think of that could be an exception is just a theoretical exercise. You can, on paper or on your computer, simulate a universe that has a fixed size. And in that universe, it would be possible to create a standing wave with these gravitational waves, and that would be a resonance of space-time. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, we don't live in that universe. So I hope that cleared up any questions you guys had about space-time gravitational waves. If you have more short questions, post them in the comments. If you have long questions about anything in physics, post them in the comments as well, and I'll try and get to them. Thanks for watching.